Welcome to My Yarn Spun Life. This is Lizzie, your host. Um, I know I need a haircut. Hopefully I'll be able to do that for too off long. Uh, Miriam does that sometimes. Some t I occasionally pay for it, but... Anyways, this is the, uh... Wednesday. And I got my first Michael's order. This order, there's not much here. It is, but it's just two bundles. So I'm, I have another um, one coming Friday, so I'll just combine these two. But I wanted to open these, this now. And I ordered baby yarn. Well, mom, I got mom started crocheting, and she wants to crochet Jesse a baby blanket, and the color and stuff we wanted, the skeins are like $10, $11 without coupons. Well, I was on Michael's a couple weeks ago, and I found that if I get a whole whole bulk or whole bundle of it is cheaper. It's like six fifty a skein and and so I ended up getting eight. Which she'll at least want two and I will want to crochet some baby blankets from it. So I opened the box I mean I cut the tape so that I don't have to do that on here. So let's get into it. Here's the packing slip or something. Yeah, it's uh, eight. Actually, there's two bundles in here, but just two different things. Ooh, I love it already. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, it comes in packs of two. Well, that is perfect. Well, I can't. It is squishy. It's not maybe as soft as some things. Karen Jumbo. And it's the baby baby rainbow and it suggested using five millimeter hook and I think I gave mom a six to do the other I have eight or four packs of two no I have it upside down uh. Hopefully that's not too washed out that can at least see what color it is. Well, I am very happy that it's in bundles like that. And this, I got two. And this is all in, but that's okay. It's uh, sugar and cream. I want to make um, washcloths and I saw soup bowl cozies, uh, bag o' day crochet. She made, has a pattern. I might crochet up a bowl and cozy and see how it works how I like it and all oh, these are violet stripes which if you know me that shouldn't surprise you I really love purple then I didn't show this but 
my pickup from Walmart. Well, I actually talked about it last my last video. I got a no. That isn't that much. It's a little bit bigger. But I got Burnett baby blanket in rainbow colors. And I want I'm I started that well the day before and I used the crochet hook that it recommended. Well, I should know that I think I'm a little bit, well, not really a tight. I think I'm a tighter crocheter than some people. But it was just too tight. So I went up to 5.5, I believe. And I had to take some rows out this morning because it was just too long and it still might be a little long but that's going to be okay so yeah I'm going to, I'm doing that this is 100% cotton believe so hopefully sorry I'm that's what Dewey doesn't like about me because I can go from one subject into the next and don't mean to do that. Anyways, Walmart. I got the Burnett baby yarn. I got some white too, Burnett baby yarn, which that's uh, three, uh, DK three. And this is worsted four. Um. I will open one soon, but it is pretty squishable. I mean, I'd like to try the Premier. It, I heard it's really soft. Anyways, back to the Walmart. I got the white, and that always, I also got the uh, two of the sugar and cream or one of those that Walmart carries. I got a purple one and a another color. I don't remember anymore. I have to look. So that's and then I have two more I have three more skeins or cakes coming Friday. I think this came from Illinois and the cakes are coming from Texas. Or is that just the opposite? Oh, this came from, yeah, this box came from Texas. The other box that's coming Friday is from Illinois. I was going to show the other bl uh, blanket that I got finished, but I forgot to bring it in. So maybe next time I'll remember to bring it in. Welcome back. This is Friday now. I am super excited. Like I said, this box, I'm just closing this knife. This box I knew was coming today. It's the same order that I ordered from Michael's last week. And it came from two different places. This came from Illinois. I'm excited and you'll see why I'm gonna make a shawl out of it for myself and yeah uh, let's just get into it see right here it is see
when I picked up this box, like you, you can't really see, but it's a more longish box. And I'm, when I picked it up, I was surprised by the weight. Don't know if this says it's supposed to be two, just two pounds. I know I'm a weakling, but I was still surprised. But and Okay, they sent me the wrong order. Wow. No wonder this was so heavy. I'm going to contact them. I don't know. This is not what I ordered. There, my stuff is in there. But, you can't even, doesn't even show. Right here. Maybe. I did not order this. So I'm going to have to contact them and see what to do about that. But they put one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Whoa. Well, I'm going to, I guess I won't be putting this on line until I find out. But, it would be a nice yarn. It is really soft. Whoa. It's True Boo. It's 100 grams. 241 yards. Light 3. That is some beautiful yarn. Somebody made a mistake. But here is what I paid for. Here's the Burnett Pop. I, they would have had more. I would have likely got more. But they just had one left. And I thought, well, I'll get that. This has four medium weight 5 ounces 140 grams 280 yards it's nice after touching that tribute uh -uh. now whoa this is a big that is nice this is one the Karen big cakes this is what I want to make my um, shawl from. I love purple, in case you don't know. See? This has 10.5 uh, ounces, 300 grams. Oh, this is the same size as the Burnett baby blanket yarn I get from Walmart. Okay. And it's medium four. I got two of these. So I, I really like it. I'm going to likely go ahead and start this sometime today after I contact 
Michael since he wants to do with these other. I was literally surprised like you saw. It's good that I have it on video. I mean. But yeah. I have a feeling I'll be shipping some stuff back or something. I guess this will continue. Actually I'm going to go now. And see. What is up. So, I shall return just in a moment for you guys. Okay, this is next moment for you. I'm back. I did go and talk to Michael online. I like to chat instead of calling. They said I can either take it back to the local store or donate it. Well, I believe in doing the right thing. So I'm going to take it back. And incidentally, next Wednesday, we're going to go to, to one. So if I don't do it, then Laura and I want to go t to one. But just observe the beauty. I might even look this up. True Boo, I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's Lion Brand Brand. It is so soft. I knew it as soon as I touched it. It's, uh, but it's from a uh, baboon. I tell you, uh, they retail for. Five nine nine a skein. I figured that out. It's over a hundred dollars worth of this in the box. So I am definitely going to take it back. I mean, some people might say, "Well, it was their mistake," and just left it. But I don't, as a Christian and and I want to do the right thing, I think I should take it back. Now, if they, I don't know. So, there will be another um, part. I would like to upload this first before next week. But, I did go to Mom and Dad's yesterday. Her mom's yesterday, and I saw little Jessie again. She's so cute, and I saw Miriam and mom and Laura. Oh my goodness! I don't know if I should even mention it or not, but if you saw my previous video from last week, I believe I put a picture of Miriam and Amy up and a baby. Well, Miriam had texted this to me, and I thought it was her holding Jetsy. Now, yesterday, I found out that is not Jetsy. It is. She had stopped last Saturday. She had stopped by another friend, one of her friends, and her. She has a six-month-old baby. And she, so Miriam was holding this six month old baby, and Amy was there, and I thought it was Jessie. I went and looked at the picture again when she told me, and I'm like, oh no, no, no. And when I told Miriam, she's like, I was wondering why you were freaking out like that. So I'm going to try to put a video, uh, picture up. With Miriam, Amy, and the real Jesse, baby Jesse. So, anyways, so I'm going to be taking this back. This true blue, true blue yarn. But I'm going to start with the other yarn. So, I'm going to go and have some fun. 
So, like always, like always, please like this video or give me a thumbs down, give me whatever you want. And comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll do likely more unboxing. I'm very fairly new to yarn, so I'm learning. And but it won't always be about yarn, you know. There'll be other stuff and all that I'm all that stuff. So oh I can't close this video without um, thinking back 19 years ago. This is 9/11. I'm sure we all that that can remember. We all remember where we were 19 years ago when the towers were hit. I know I was in my bedroom. And I was on the computer. I was getting ready to go to. I was in a job. Job. Getting ready for a job class or however you want to say. And I was. But I was in my room on the computer. I was checking stuff. Uh, chatting with somebody then or checking emails or something I don't remember what I was doing <clears throat> and grandma called mom and she you she lived across the yard actually at that time every night I'd go over and and sleep <coughs> in her uh, guest bed just so that she's not alone. That was even before I was married. And she called mom. She said, turn the TV on. You wouldn't believe what it's happening. And, well, mom did. It was a... I cannot... I mean, it was horrible. I did go on to class... And I remember Bill and Drenda, they had to go out for something, for a meeting or something. They came back and Bill said, yeah, the second tower was hit. I, that might have, I think maybe the second tower was hit before I got there. But he came back and said that the second tower had collapsed already. And... Then the first did. It, it was, it was unreal. I don't completely remember the whole, you know, all the whole day, but there are moments that I do remember. That was a Wednesday. No, that was a Thursday. It was yeah, it was. I just wish us Americans could get back together and turn up, turn ourselves to God and stop the bickering. Well, I won't go into to that, but we need to get along, agree to disagree. I mean, I don't agree with everybody. Come on, it would be very boring if I did. But, yes, we need to get ready. Be ready. I mean, the end is coming sometime. But, anyways, thank you for watching. And, I'll see you in the next video. Where, I take this yarn back and whatnot. I don't know if I'll be showing you when I take it back, but I'll have it about it later. 
and I might just I'll see thank you for watching bye